What's up guys, Alex here with another video and today's tutorial will be on how to mask an image. Um, I won't be covering uh, the masking idea in general, um, it's too big and there's a lot of stuff you can do with masking but I'll separate these into uh, different tutorials like how to mask a moving object, how to rotoscope and things like that. So today's tutorial just um, sticking with how to mask an image. So you have an image on the timeline and to get into the masking window all you have to do is uh, click on the event pan crop uh, window which is this little square right here on your text. Go ahead and click it and you should find the masking option under the position. So once you go ahead and enable that it will go to your masking window. Now if you're ever switching between your crop window to your masking window uh, it's really easy. The crop window is the top keyframe right here and the masking keyframe is um, below that. So if you're ever trying to go back to the uh, cropping window, you would want to click the first keyframe. So let's go back to the masking window and I'll explain the list of tools that are on this left hand side. So first you have your normal edit tool where you can move around your image. Um, you have the anchor tool or the anchor tool, my bad, um, to create points to connect your mask. Uh, anchor deletion tool to delete points a split tangent tool uh, which basically kind of um, uh, if you it's really complicated if you make two points and then you uh, use the split tangent tool it'll create two or three lines uh, that go off in opposite directions um, I really don't use this tool and of course the next two uh, tools are the rectangle and circle masking tool and this is just implemented in Sony Vegas Pro 12 uh, basically you can just make shapes like these if you wanted to, which is kind of useful. Um, you have resume edit tool, uh, enable snapping, which is um, if you want your mask to be on a grid, it'll snap to a specific point instead of allowing you to uh, move it around freely. And you have your move X and Y, which is basically allowing you to move your points um, in any direction. So first off, to create a mask, you need to select the anchor creation tool. Let's go ahead and click that and uh, the only thing I don't like about this masking window in Sony Vegas is that you can't move around to using your um, uh, cursor button like can't like you can in After Effects so you, you would want to find a good position to mask in where you don't have to move around your window uh, because if you ever try to uh, mask and then you have to move closer to this side you would have to go ahead and move around and as you can see the points for the mask disappears and once you go back to the anchor creation tool you have to click on it again and sometimes the mask kind of expands if you click on it again if you want to continue your mask so sometimes um, I usually like to start off with a position that I can work um, entirely with without having to move around the image so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all the mask and I'm gonna show you how to mask an image so you want to go ahead and start at a point click and basically what you want to do is click around the image or the shape that you want to mask and basically that's really all you do so I'm gonna go ahead and mask around this image so basically when you have your first mask done uh, it'll give you an option a list of options called mask position and path uh, position of the mask is just the overall position of the mask um, apply to FX is basically if you apply a um, video FX to mask and then you can choose to apply the FX to the entire image or not so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the color corrector and the path is basically where you can fine tune your mask. So if you have a mode, um, positive means that whatever you masked, the inside of it stays in. Um, if you set it to negative, whatever you masked on the inside disappears and only the outside of the mask will appear. And disabled means everything just disappears. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to positive. Um, Anti-alias, you don't have to worry about. 
opacity is um, basically how you know how transparent you want the masks to be. Uh, since there isn't any image below th this image, obviously if you turn down the opacity, it'll start to fade to black. And the feather type is where you can actually, um, if your mask is really messy, you can sort of almost uh, fix your mask. So if you set the feather types in, you're basically uh, shrinking the max or the the mask. Uh, so you have the feather percent, and as you increase the feather percent, the feather type uh, will kind of shrink the mask. So if I set it to 5%, it'll soften up the edges but shrink the mask as well. Um, feather type out does the opposite thing where it'll um, kind of spread out, but then again smooth out the edges so that uh, it won't look as jagged as it was if I set it to 0%. And the both, um, it's just, again, softening the edges, but it's not exactly shrinking or expanding the mask. So, after that, um, basically, if you have little gaps in your image that you want to uh, take out after you made your first mask, uh, like this little spot right here, you're going to want to make a new masking shape. So that's really easy. All you have to do is um, grab the anchor creation tool and start a new mask. But then again, you want to make sure that it doesn't interfere with uh, your original mask or any points of that. So you want to go ahead and just make another quick mask. And once you've done that, you want to make sure that the mode, instead of being positive, you want it to be negative. And that will take out this little uh, area that you don't want to be included in the mask. And you can create as many masks as you want. Um, if you want to delete them, all you have to do is uh, click on it, right click, and delete. And you can choose to delete an anchor, um, or you can choose to delete it all. Delete it all, and there you go. So that's how you can mask an image in Sony Vegas. Um, if you have any problems with the masking option, just um, ask them down in the comments down below. And my next tutorial will probably be on how to mask a moving uh, image or video. So I'll see you guys next time.